Hey, today we're ice fishing. We're out at West Lake. Got all our lines out. Got my daughter with me. Got my dog. Wifey's in the ice shack. It's our ice shack. We're gonna make French toast at the ice shack. So, brought my mix in here. Had three eggs, three big tablespoons of really dark brown sugar. We had uh, two scoops or two uh, capfuls of vanilla extract and some milk. We got it all mixed up in here. Good to go. Beautiful. Look at that. See, that's how you want your French toast mix to look. That'll make you the best French toast ever. We got some Italiano bread. The Coleman stove's ready to go on my way back of my wife's bike. And uh, we can get her set up. I'll give the camera to Brittany and I'll show you the next step. Alright. Warm up our pan. Get the butter going. Slippery, so don't slip. So don't stick. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Anyway. A little quick flop like that. Dip her down. I wonder if I can fix this. Yeah, I can. So, just a quickie. Let them drain. You know what all that. You don't want your bread really wet. You soak your bread, it's gonna taste like shit. It's gonna taste bad. It's gonna taste bad. Don't say bad word. We got cinnamon here. We put our cinnamon on after. You just put it in your mix, it just gets clumpy. Voila! We got French toast going on at the ice shack. So what do you think? What do you think, Britt? Is that the best French toast ever? Mm. Mm. Brittany's shy. She's playing with her hair rather than filming. <laughs> so anyway, yesterday we were out here. We didn't get no fish. Last weekend, we got four nice pike between three and five pounds. It was the biggest one. We got the old Sportsman 1000 out here. 30 inch Monster Mayhems on it. This thing's just full retard. It goes. Close to 100 horsepower with all the mods on it. They got lots of stuff to endure. She's good. It's fun. You know, when you're riding a big 4x4 and you point it straight where you want it to go and you punch it and you run out of brakes before you get to the corner, you know you got something that goes pretty good. Oh. Here we go. Brittany, come here. Oh, we got funny faces going on in here. Where's your funny no, face? No, no. This is my beautiful wife, Jessica. Oh, yeah. I bring her fishing. Nice, beautiful Lola. She got me back into fishing. I didn't want to fish anymore when I was a kid because it was boring. But now we got a nice shack and the dogs and everything and got everything all set up. Got our little firewood and everything. Awesome. Awesome. There you go, Brett. We're going to put this. Sticking a bit. I usually use a different type of frying pan. I got into those new uh, stoneware pans that don't stick, and everything else seems to be just crap. Butter that I had on the bottom. Wipe that down on it. Now here's the trick. Off you flip. Rebutter your pan. Put some underneath. And this pan is just not cooperating. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Oh well. We'll figure it out. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's gotta go. Alright. There we go. Ah, how nice that looks. Nice French toast. Out on the ice. Does everything taste better in the bush? So, beautiful northern Ontario day. We're uh, right around zero degrees today. After a cold snap we had, minus 30 for probably two weeks. There's where my wife and Jess and Brittany like to go sliding. I climbed that with my 
81 F-150 up on 39 inch boggers. We're climbing that rock, snow covered. We had close to three feet of snow on it when I was climbing it. It's good stuff, it's fun. I have to dig up that video. Got it somewhere, I think it's in our computer. But, you know, YouTube's kind of a new thing for me, so we're just getting things going. Anyway, I like my friend Sam Pilgrim's videos, so to this guy.